Hello everyone and welcome to Postal Reviews. Today I would like to give you a better look at the dolls that I unboxed the other day from UF Doll, the Tea Party series. Since then, I have dressed them all up, I have put their eyes in, and I have changed their feet to the feet that have the shoes on. So now you can have a better idea of what they look like when they are fully assembled. So we will start with my favorite doll in the series, which is this one. So this uh, pink and blue doll is, uh, is really sweet. She has a, a very pretty uh, dress and apron in pink and blue, my favorite colors. This is by UF Dolls, so you can see on their clothing the letters U and F are used for decoration. This one has a little choker. Three of these dolls have a choker and uh, it's been really difficult to put in for me because you have to remove the head. And uh, I was uh, terrified that I would, um, I would lose the strings inside the body and that I would have to restring the dolls completely. But I figured out um, a rather safe way to do it. And also uh, I struggled a bit with eye placement, but now I have found what I think is, um, is a good way to do it. And uh, if, uh, if you would like a little tutorial on this, plus how to change the hand and feet, please let me know and uh, I will shoot a short, uh, a short tutorial. I really like the green eyes of this one. Also the nice touch that she has a, a pink bow on one side and uh, a blue bow on the other side of her headband to match her outfit. And um, her little shoes have also little bows in front and in back. So this is what she looks like from the back with her cute uh, little uh, bunny tail. And uh, for her hair, uh, I preferred uh, not to use uh, the the big bunny ears, but to use these smaller uh, attachments. That's what I did for all the dolls so far. I didn't use the, the hands with the gloves either because uh, for now I, uh, I really uh, enjoyed this, uh, this look with uh, their normal hands. So this is uh, the first one in the series. And this one is a keeper for sure. She's, uh, she's staying home. Okay, so for number two, I hesitated between the aqua one and the blue one because I prefer the clothes of the aqua one but the color of the blue one. So I'm probably going to have to keep both of them. So number two for now is this one. Uh, maybe she looks a little weird because when I was putting the eyes in, she was the first I did and I hadn't yet figured out the right direction for her eyes, the right eye placement, so that's why maybe she looks um, a little strange. She has uh, a different mouth from the first one. The first one was smiling. They go two by two actually and there are two, go two uh, dolls with a smiling face. Two dolls with this kind of, um, I don't know, <laughs> mouth and the two with a small O mouse. Um, she has um, a, a shirt, a long shirt, like a tunic, and um, an, over, an overdress, overskirt uh, on top of it, which looks a bit like um, a corset. And um, from the back, this is what she looks like. with her cute little bow and her shoes. So all these dolls have a garter. That's a nice cute touch uh, that you can see uh, underneath here. Okay, so this is number two. Number three for now is this blue one. Really striking blue eyes and this I got in the right position. 
All these tiles come with a headband, except for the boy at the end of the row. A nice touch as well. I think it really adds to their uh, charm. So this one has a, a dress and uh, a little apron on top of it. A garter, no choker because she has a high collar dress. And from the back we can see the crossed straps of her apron and her uh, rather uh, spiky hair. So this is number two, again with little bows on the back of her shoes in a, in a matching color for this one. So one point of attention for me on these dolls is these little bows and um, plastic uh, uh, ornaments that they have on their clothes. Uh, very sweet, but uh, they tend to, uh, to fall off if you handle the dolls too roughly. They are, uh, they are glued on, of course, and these are not very expensive dolls, but for the price point, really, um, really well made. But um, I've had a couple of these bows uh, and little plastic ribbons falling off, so um, be careful uh, if, uh, if you have one of these dolls that this doesn't happen to you. Okay, so this was number three. Number four, okay, so usually I'm not at all into uh, dolls with uh, darker colors. But uh, this one, uh, I must say, is really, really sweet. I really love the purple color of her eyes. Her two-tone hair is nice as well. Um, she has a, a cute dress and a, a little apron over it. Lacy apron, really nice. And at the back contrasting bunny tail and also uh, contrasting little bows lavender bows on her black shoes so normally I would not keep this one because um, yeah not enough room for all the dolls but she's my daughter's favorite so she will uh, she will stay home really nice her band as well. Really cute doll. Okay. Number five is this fox-like doll. Actually, to me, she looks more like a fox than a bunny. Um, the only reason she's number five is because I'm not fond of the uh, yellow eye color that she has. But um, I really like her, um, her hairstyle, her cute buns. She has a, a loose-fitting red dress with an apron on it and her shoes with little cream-colored ribbons and mustard-colored socks. Nice accent of the little bows on her dress. And this is what she looks like from the back. So the buns are removable, as I showed in the, in the unboxing video, but you have a little knob underneath, so there's really no point in, uh, in not putting them on, I think. It's just that the, the hair on these dolls is uh, assembled from different pieces. So this is the little, um, to me, little fox doll, <laughs> is, uh, is what she reminds me of, um, a little fox. Okay, and last but not least, we have the boy, or maybe it's a tomboyish girl, I don't know. Um, it's the only one in the series that doesn't have a, a headband, but it does have a, a garter and the same shoes. This with black bows. An outfit that is made up of a, a frilly shirt with a, a brown bow shorts and uh, yeah this kind of uh, of banner that is worn sideways across the torso so pretty eyes as well really uh, cute doll but not my cup of tea so this one will have to go as well i'm afraid and this is what it looks like from the back Spiky hair as well, 
and the back of the little shoes. Okay, so that was the last one of the six. As I said in the uh, unboxing video, unfortunately, I didn't get any hidden, but that's fine because really I got the ones I really wanted. And uh, getting the full box was the best way to make sure I didn't um, drive myself crazy buying lots of duplicates to, uh, to get the ones I wanted. So um, I think these dolls for the price are really well made and uh, well worth getting if you enjoy this type of doll. Um, as usual, if you would like to get one for yourself from kickagoods.com, please use my discount code LOVEDILEMON10 and you will get 10% off. And if you like my content, please uh, also uh, follow me on Instagram, LOVEDILEMON, and uh, come back soon for more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.